So here is the Mbot Neo all built. It took me about 20-30 minutes to build this. Uh, it was fairly easy, straightforward, the instructions were helpful, it came with everything you need, like including the screwdriver, which I always love, and so it was a simple build. It's marketed for kids age 8 and up, and I think it's totally appropriate that an 8-year-old can build that with a little bit of parent assistance. <clears throat> you do get to learn a little bit about circuitry here, and overall, it feels like a really nice quality build. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about how the Mbot works. So essentially in order to have it work, you need to open the app. So there's two apps that you need for this coding robot. So first is the MakeBlock app and second is the Mblock app. So the MakeBlock app, we'll press that to start. So we're going to have to reconnect our device since it disconnected. So just hold it close to the device and it should connect fairly quickly. There's a Bluetooth connection, so you need to make sure that your Bluetooth is on in your settings and then we'll let it do its thing. So it connected there. <clears throat> in the um, Make Block app, there's the play mode and there's the code mode, mode and then there's a Wi-Fi guide. So we're gonna start off with the play mode, okay? So the play mode is just using this uh, robot as if it was a remote control car, essentially. So you can do driving with it. So let's just see how we do in our driving. It's not that easy to drive. I'm sure my kids will be better at it than me. And then there's also a few little extra features. So if you press this one, it spins it around. And then if you press uh, this one, it does some sound effects. And so, and you can change the color as well. So we can see there that it's changing the color as I go, which is a nice cool feature. So essentially for this part, you're essentially just playing with the toy as if it was a remote control car. There's also like a mu musical feature where you can get it to make sounds, play happy birthday, uh, it's kind of cool. And then there's a voice control section where you can actually say, go forward. So it went forward, it was pretty powerful there. Okay, so let's drive it back towards me. There we go. All right. So now what we want to do um, is the exciting part, which is the coding part. So when you press the code button here, it's going to actually open the other app, the Make Blocks app, okay? So I just want to show you here uh, what you need to do because I actually found this part a little bit confusing. So what you need to do is you need to add your device by pressing this plus sign here. And you might think it's the Mbot. It is not the Mbot. It is actually the CyberPi because this thing right here, this thing right here is actually a CyberPi. Okay, so keep in mind this is the Mbot 2, not the original Mbot. So CyberPi is what you need to click. And then you press the check mark here. Once you're in here, then on top of that, you've got the CyberPi features, but you also now need to add the Mbot 2. So in here, you go to extensions and then you add in the Mbot 2 shield, okay? And so it's already been added to mine because I did it before, but if you don't do that, you won't be able to use the robot features and this took me a while to figure out. So hopefully I save you time there. Okay, so then from here, you can program using a block-based programming. So let's see, first off, we wanna start with an event because we always want to start our code with an event. So when this green flag is clicked, then we're gonna be doing these things. So there's a bunch of different options here, but you could get it to play a rainbow animation. You can get it to make some different noises, like say hi. And then of course we want it to move because it is a robot. So that's why we're gonna go down to these Mbot blocks and we could get it to, for example, move forward at uh, 50 RPM for one second, okay? And so I already did program a full set of code here 
um, just in the interest of time. I've programmed this already. So you can see that I've gotten it to move forward, then left, then forward, then right, and then forward, then left, then forward, then right, and then forward, then right, and forward again. Okay, and you can see here I have my maze, right? So I actually like to use these magnetic tiles to build maze. These are just the magnetic tiles you can buy on Amazon just to build um, forts and that sort of thing for kids. So I uh, have been using these for programming my algorithm. So I want to tell my kids to try to design an algorithm for MBOT to make it to the end of this um, maze. And you can obviously do this with just pieces of paper, you could use tape, you could put obstacles, whatever you want. But essentially, you want your kids to be able to program using these blocks, a program that will take their robot from the beginning to the end. And you can add in some cool features. So let's see how mine does. I'm gonna press the green flag here. Oh, <laughs> of course it says Bluetooth not connected because when I did connect the other, um, connected back to the drive function in the other app, it disconnected from this one. So again, I am gonna have to connect. So that was pretty simple, I reconnected. And now I'll be able to press my green flag button. Back to coding. Okay, so here we go. There we go. So I programmed the correct algorithm there. Of course, I didn't get this the first time. I had to debug it a little bit. I had to make sure I had the right sequence. These are all the basic coding concepts that this uh, MBOT toy teaches. But essentially, there's unlimited algorithms and mazes that you could uh, challenge your kids and your students with with this toy. So overall, super happy with this toy. I think it uh, has some great features. It's easy once you figure out which buttons to press to get that block coding going and then there's a lot of fun games that you can do with the algorithms and the block coding hope you enjoyed my review